Hey everybody, Stu here. Um, this is an entry to Lockpicking Hippies 250 uh, subscriber challenge. Congratulations, man. Uh, I dig your content. I think you're a cool guy. Uh, I'm bummed out it took me so long to actually uh, tune into you. Uh, side note, when I was first um, looking for a name to change over from a failed gardening channel to for Locksport, uh, the first two people whose ideas I had that kind of were too similar to when I looked them up were Lock Chuck and Lock Picking Hippie. So you were the guys that lock blocked me on some names. Uh, and I ended up with C Studio. So uh, this is my, my pile of comfort locks. He wants us to talk about the locks we go to when we're having a rough, rough go need to kind of dial, dial yourself back in um i'm still pretty new so my my comfort locks and my practice locks and my locks i'm struggling with you know, there's not much difference between those in a lot of uh, you know for where all of you guys are concerned but i mean it still matters so the first thing i go to is the sprinks 40 millimeter um and i'll jump with uh for comfort you know my Covert Instruments, Genesis, uh, Short Hook. I never use the medium because it's rounded and I'm not good with rounded. Uh, I pretty much always go to this, um, uh, either this or the top or bottom uh, at, at 40 thousandths. Because uh, most of the locks I'm messing with, you know, that'll get me in there. Um, I like this lock because I can just get in the back, find that back pin kick it and just go you know pin 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 and it's open i don't have to jump around um, i'm not gonna drop anything um you know i know i'm gonna get an open um i still gotta you know get it right but um that's why uh, also you know this is a good trainer for me for doing my one hand pickings um it's you know, an easy lock for picking, but, you know, it gets a little harder when you start doing it silly ways. Um, you know, any of these kind of all have their function for me as a comfort lock. Uh, I've kind of blown these 140s out from raking them a thousand times, but so it's really all squishy and doesn't really respond well in here anymore. Hopefully it'll pick. I don't really go to them for picking anymore. Um, but I probably won't get it. Like I said, these pins are, I can't feel anything. Anyway, but I, <clears throat> I will go to this, you know, um, if I need a good open, a quick open or anything, then that's too thick. Um, you know, for a rake, I'll jump in on this 140 and pick up any rake I got. And just get myself a quick little confidence boost and bust. Um, you know, similarly on the, you know, number of these master locks, threes. Again, something's going to be camera shy too, but is that a quad or a coin? Yeah. Um, yeah, it's probably not going to go. Oh, there it goes. So usually when I say it's probably not going to go and I'm about to give up, I get a pop on the video. So, um, so yeah, you know, this is my pile, a couple 140s. I got the pretty brinks. Um, I got a, I think it might be a six pin. I can't remember Chateau, but it's really tight QA. Um, kind of got to get it perfect, but if you get it perfect, you know, you, well, you can you can pop it fast so you know i can get a mcnally on that one uh, i just can get a pretty good pop on that um so this three is a uh, master lock three is keyed different than that one so you know it's fun to make sure you can do both um so really that's it you know <clears throat> uh, even on picking or raking this is the pile i go to to build my confidence and dial myself back in. Um, 
Thanks a lot, man. I appreciate uh, you throwing the challenge. I appreciate uh, your content. And uh, you're a cool guy, man. Have a good day.